Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Anyway, finally figured I better get uh, get on here and give you guys a recap of this weekend's tournament. Uh, first off, let me start off by saying how much I really appreciate and how much fun it was having probably 20 plus people come up to me and tell me how much they enjoy the videos and how much they enjoy it and how much... Uh, uh, they're actually helping some people so uh, that was that was really good to really good to hear so thank you to every one of you that came up and shook my hand it, I really enjoyed meeting all of you so uh, tournament wise man this is got to be the most humbling sport on earth if only I was as good as I think I am holy smokes I'd win them all but the uh, truth be known that fish's tiny little brain is probably 10 times bigger than my brain because they outthunk us from start to finish. Me and my partner are fishing with Greg Bunting and uh, that, that man's a fisherman. He, he, he knows what he's doing and he, he can get her done. But uh, day one, we committed, we made a huge commitment uh, to Rodman. And we went back in there. Well, I mean, we had some great pre-fishing and everything back in there and the things were just popping and it was looking good. And uh, we went back in there and we spent... We spent over three hours that first day and we came out of there without a fish. So when you get off to a start like that on tournament day, it just, uh, it's hard to keep that smile on your face, but we kept a smiling and kept, kept a digging. But uh, anyway, we were just bouncing around to a couple of our other different spots that were really good. And our timing was just a little off. And an example of that is we fished one of our, our best spots. We pulled, didn't get a bite. Well, got a bite, but I'll cut to that point in a little bit. Got, got some bites, didn't land any fish, and we pulled out of there 15 minutes later. The team that was in third place on day one came in behind us and just put on a clinic, and we got to watch them load the boat with six pounders, you know, a couple six pounders, and just it was like, oh my goodness. It's just like, that's how critical the timing is on Clear Lake right now. But anyway, uh, short, uh, short, long story short, is that how they say it? We weighed in two fish on day one. So with with that, we had some friends that we were fishing a lot of the same water, and one of the guys was leading it, and then uh, another another of our our buddies was uh, in the top ten. So the right thing to do was for us to take that water out of our rotation. So that's exactly what we did. And uh, you know, I say treat others the way you want to be treated. That's a uh, that's what they would have done for me. So it was only right that I did it for them. But on day two. That, uh, that put us to basically, we decided, you know what, it's uh, the way that format is, this Chamber of Commerce is such a great setup. We were still able, even not having any chance of winning, we were still fishing for $2,000 because the biggest bag of the of the tournament paid 1000 and Big Fish paid 1000 So, you know, one cast, one fish could win you $1,000 that day. So we that's what we were gunning for. We were fishing for one bite and hoping for five. And... Uh, we got close. We we had a seven and a half pounder, and the big fish of the tournament was an eight. But we didn't just have one seven pounder. We had two seven pounders. We weighed in three fish on a on Sunday for almost 19 pounds. So that was exciting. So you know it's hard to complain when you when you catch two seven pounders in a day. It's hard to go home not happy. But one thing about this fishing, there's there's not many sports on earth that you can just absolutely suck at it and have a horrible performance and it still be one of the best times you ever had in your life. So cheers for that, huh? But anyway, that that was our uh, our tournament weekend. I want to say uh, congratulations to the winners, uh, John and uh, his wife Monica. They they put together just back to back he solid days. They did a great job. I can tell you that they uh, it was one flipping, and the big fish both days came on a drop shot. Everybody whines about that drop shot and say, oh, that don't catch big fish. Well, she won two thousand dollars with a drop shot this weekend. She got big fish both days, so there you go. You might want to go get that drop shot on your deck. Anyway, um, Paul Bailey, freaking just major stud here on this lake. He, uh, <clears throat> the word I got, I don't know firsthand. Paul Bailey did not tell me this, but the word on the the word on the street is that he put his giant bag together with an LV 500. So when I retied everything today, what's the one bait I didn't tie on? The LV 500. So. There you go. That's why I'm weighing in two fish, and he's getting the big bag of the big bag of the weekend. But anyway, I just want to say that that Chamber of Commerce event it's it's designed to promote business up here, and it's designed to be a fun 
tournament and I'm telling you they pulled it off because it is such a fun tournament people come from all over just to fish that tournament I mean there's there's novice fishermen it made they fish one or two tournaments a, a year and there's guys like Greg Kateris and just you know just superstars in in the sport that are fishing it and it's just so so much fun to uh, test your skills against the uh, the big boys and and all the local hammers and the guides and everybody it's just tons and tons and tons of fun but anyway uh i uh i was uh, i'm out here on the lake now oh i had a friend catch frog fish but anyway i'm out here i'm gonna go pick up my buddy and uh we're gonna go fish tail dark and see if we can't put something together down here on the rattlesnake arm here in the keys so uh keep your eye out for my thursday report and like i say i, I really appreciate all you guys i haven't said it in a long time so if you can remember to to like this video and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and as always when you get up here treat people the way you want to be treated and peace out baby